Let's draw four panel comic strips. Cheap. Hello and welcome to the comic strip edition of Gogo Mock Rocket Cheap. Today it's going to look a little different than what I normally do, uh, what we normally do together. But today, uh, easy, medium, and hard mode is going to be guiding you through the easy step, the medium step, and the hard step of making a finished comic strip. I love drawing comics. I think that everybody should draw comics uh, because it's a super great way to communicate uh, your, you know, a joke or a funny thought or a story or anything like that. It's just a useful skill to have uh, being able to conceptualize comics. So that's what we're doing today. It's a little different, so stick with it. It's going to be fun. Easy, easy mode. mode. Okay, for easy mode, we are all going to be drawing uh, a four panel comic and we will all start with the same first panel, but then it's up to you to come up with how the story ends. And I want to see a bunch of different potential endings for this comic stickman style, okay? So we go one, one panel, two panel. And we're right, we're drawing lightly with pencil, three panel, four panel. And we're just gonna use stickman because we're gonna try to get the story down quickly. Uh, it's, it's, you know, we, we kind of call this thumbnailing. Thumbnail is not, you're not spending a whole lot of time on the image, you're just trying to get the idea down, the story down on page. So you use stickmen and you just get it done quickly. So our first, everybody will start with the first panel and I don't want anybody to copy me for the, for the other panel. So the first panel is this. We have a stick man, stick person. And they are getting ready to throw a paper airplane. Okay, so that's the first panel. And I want us to all start with the same first panel. Then we move on. Uh, you make the second, third, and fourth panel, whatever you want. Do not, uh, do not follow what I do for these ones, okay? And then when we, when we have our stickman panel, our stickman story, when that's all finished, then uh, then that's easy mode. One of the biggest advantages to laying out your comic stickman style first is that even if you don't get around to finishing the art, you should be able to still communicate clearly the story that you had in mind and people will understand what you're getting at. Okay, so here's my easy mode uh, thumbnails kind of laid out. It's not really a sketch. I haven't spent any time on the art, right? Uh, but it's I've spent some time writing and kind of prototyping what I want it to look like. And this is an easy mode comic. Even though the art isn't finished, you can tell my idea of what the comic strip is. You can tell what the joke is and uh, tells a little story, right? Throw, he throws the airplane and it crashes. So I'm excited. Do not copy, don't copy mine. I wanna see what you come up with. Medium, medium mode. mode. So for medium mode, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this uh, comic and we're going to now improve the art. So instead of using a stick man, we are going to uh, make it a character. So I'm just going to, normally when you thumbnail, you might thumbnail in a different book and then and then you would start over with your sketches, but I'm going to just uh, flesh these out a little bit, turn them into less of a stick man character. So uh, because it's pencil and I will erase and keep whatever I want to keep, right? So let's maybe make them wear a t-shirt Give him a tube arm, tube arm, hand, and then uh, he'll have a hat on, let's say, because I'm wearing a hat right now. This isn't me, but uh, you can wear a hat. All right, so there I got my character with a hat on that one. Now I'm just going to uh, do the same thing with the rest of my character. Now, because I thumbnailed quite large, thumbnails usually like, you know, when you look at your thumbnail, it's pretty small. And the idea behind thumbnails is just small, quick sketches to be able to lay out what you want to do. But I made, you know, large stickman drawings. And so it's actually pretty easy for me to draw my character over top of the stickman that I put. But you'll note that stickman poses, um, you know, stickmen don't exactly have proper anatomy. So you might need to erase the stickman totally 
and then uh, put your character in the pose that they were in, that'd be fine. That's usually why when you do thumbnails, you do it on a separate piece of paper. And then when you go to draw your characters, you grab a new fresh piece of paper and you start over. You can see that I've uh, finished sort of sketching out from a stick man to a, uh, like a more flushed out character, uh, which I just kind of made up. So uh, the hat helps keep my character consistent from panel to panel. Of course, if I were to draw one of my like more regular comic characters that I always draw, uh, you would see a little bit more consistency. But the point is this, I used uh, the pencils and the sketch to, you know, easy mode, we had our stick men and it was a pretty easy concept to tell the story. Medium mode, I spent a little bit more time flushing out the pencils to get it to sketch the way that I want. And hard mode, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use ink and I'm going to use pencil crayons to, uh, you know, finish my comic and make it look really good. Just the process that we always do, right? So uh, we started with the uh, thumbnails, uh, then we have our sketches, and now we're gonna take that sketch and make it look as good as we can using ink and, uh, in this case, pencil crayons. Hard, Hard mode. mode. I'm pretty happy with how it came out. You can see how we went through the process of starting with, you know, our stick men, uh, turning it into a sketch, and then, uh, you know, finalizing the art by using ink and uh, using a pencil crayons to color it up. One thing that I want, I left a mistake in here on purpose, two mistakes actually. The first is um, the hand over here got messed up because as I was inking, I made a poor decision and that was to not trust my sketch and uh, I should have trusted my sketch because the sketch had it right and then I added extra fingers and anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, but here's the thing that I, w I left on purpose to highlight something. Do you see how this speech bubble is over top of his hat? That's not really great, uh, especially when I have all this area right here that I could have moved it to. But it's a lot easier to move a speech bubble when it's a stick man than when it's a fleshed out sketch. And uh, so the lesson with thumbnailing, with drawing stick, stick men, and then with the speech bubbles and, and laying everything out, it's easier to lay stuff out with stick men than it is with a sketch. You can always make adjustments in your sketch, but anyway, especially now that I've inked it and colored it, it's actually impossible to move that. So for the ease of, of readability in comics, use thumbnails, use stick men, and really quick sketches to, to get things laid out so that you can tell you know, if it's actually gonna be legible, readable when it's finished. But anyway, this is my hard mode. So this is what I came up with and you've already seen this one, but uh, this is the one that I came up with for the comics class that I teach. And um, and actually right now, that comics class we've done, uh, we did this exercise the other day and uh, I wanted to show some of what my students there came up with. So let's check it out. Extra credit this week is very simple. Come up with a four panel comic strip that isn't the one that we did for this exercise and send it to me. I would love to read your completely, totally original comic strip. Art you Art sent you in. in.
Thank you so much to everybody who sent in art last week. Uh, if you'd like to send me your art to be displayed in next week's video, send it to gogomockrocketcheap at gmail.com or just tag me in social media and I'll find it and I'll put it in the video and that's exciting. So uh, thank you so much and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.